What's up guys, Crisis here. Now before I get this video started, I want to mention I am not a tutorials channel. I mean, every now and again I like making some, but that's just because I feel like it has helped me so much that I want to provide that same amount of help to somebody else that might have the issues that I had. Especially when I did the research and certain things were not fixing my, you know, problem. So I was having this issue where when I connected my phone to my computer, it would connect and then reconnect and then disconnect and reconnect and blah, 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 like 50 million times. And until I disconnected it, like completely and said, fuck this shit. I'm not putting this shit in my computer again. Fuck this computer. I'm about to toss it in the garbage. I was saying all the stupid shit, but even though I wouldn't have done that. Anyway, so people, when I did my research, people were saying, oh, just do this, just do that. Man, shit wasn't helping. So I had to actually type in how to do it, you know, Windows 10. And this this is what happened. This is what they told me to do. Um, I'm going to show you right now. And it might actually, this actually might help for some of you. And I'm not saying it doesn't help. What I'm saying is it didn't help me, help for me. So if this helped for you, you could just, you know, exit and go about your business but if it didn't help for you just stay put and watch the rest of the video anyway go to where is it go to your control panel open it up go to your hardware no is it hardware yeah go to your hardware and go to your power options and you'll see you know your change plan settings you're gonna go there and then you're gonna go to your advanced power settings and you're gonna pick the plan you know that you have selected so not everybody's plan is gonna be the same as what is seen right here if I could highlight it well you see you guys see it says one system care gaming that's the one I have selected whatever plan you guys have selected you're going to want to go to your advanced power settings for that specific plan anyway back to the tutorial what they wanted me to do is they wanted me to go to the USB settings you'll see right here USB settings and open it again and disable it's enabled by default you're going to disable your USB selective suspending settings so it doesn't suspend it you know automatically and shit like that and you're gonna disable that apply that did not work for me it might work for some like I said it previously but it did not work for me but what did work for me is going to your device manager control panel option and I just typed it down there I have Windows 10 by the way I typed it down in the search box and it, you know it comes up so now you are going to go to your human interface devices the the the, vi the, 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 the devices yeah and you see all of these input devices and I have like six seven eight 20 fucking <laughs> USB ports in my computer so yeah what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click each and every one of them and go to your properties and power management and deselect the allow the computer to turn off this device to save power and that I just fucking enabled it you son of a bitch you think you're sneaky huh you think you're fucking sneaky bitch showed you anyway so you're gonna Disable that, uncheck it, whatever you call it, and uh, you'll do it for each and every one of these. So you have one, two, I have six options right here, right? So you see each and every one of them are deselected. And yeah, so that worked for me. But when I plugged in my, my, uh, my what is it, my USB, it said that it could not use my USB 3.0 thing so I said whatever but at least my freaking phone's in there so I don't know it has something to do with your USB 3.0 and the uh, uh, the amount of power output it needs to power up or something like that I guess that's why um, somebody mentioned that's why you know iPhone has their speci specified uh, charger and it produces a different amount of power so it works differently so you need a external uh, USB port or USB hub um, to fix that solution so it could produce the right amount of power that is needed so you guys could also try to do that if this option doesn't work 
Another thing that came up, and I didn't do this, I didn't have to do this, but another thing that came up is you might have to update your BIOS. And the way you do that is you go to your BIOS manufacturing, th th your uh, motherboard manufacturer, and then you update your, you know, they have all those links in there. So you'll do your research for that. I have like, what is it? An MSI motherboard, so I'd go to MSI and, you know, try to find the BIOS for that. And uh, yeah, there's plenty of tutorials for that too. I'm not gonna go into details with that, but those were the options that were given to me. And I will show you the website. So the website that you see right here is the website that I've gathered all my information from. I, you know, read whatever he had to say, and I also scrolled down, read the comments, saw what they had to say. And uh, the one that helped me was I think actually this guy linked it in here somewhere right here right here it's all gray and shit see he says for Windows 10 if the instructions above do not work for you try the following solution that was provided by somebody in the comments and I've read that comment as well uh, and this is what I told you worked for me remember it said device manager human interface devices yeah so that worked for me so if this worked for you, this video helped you guys, leave that thumbs up. It'll definitely help me out. Subscribe. Help me out as well. You know, come on. Boost my up. Boost me up. I want to be on top of the fucking throne. Yeah. This is Crisis. Peace.